Welcome to Radical Connections TV. Our topic today is why do some people not want to be married? Maybe you're one of them. Why don't you want to be married? Mm -hmm. Why do you think being single is better? Let's talk about that. So the aunt, your answer will reveal some things. And everybody's answer is fully justified in their own eyes uh, because of the past experiences they may have had. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we ourselves start off from the premise of always, always, always going back to God's original design and plan before the fall of humanity and the fall of the, of the world mm -hmm. into corruption. In the beginning, God said, it is not good for man to be alone. I'll make a helper for him. And he created a need for the two to, to, to need each other. And also, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth was a commandment, not a suggestion. Mm -hmm. So that was his original heart and mandate and desire and his perfect will for humanity upon the earth is to be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, take dominion, uh, over his creation and uh, rule over it and uh, be a good steward. So anything else in the Bible that we see that seems to come against that, we have to read it through the lens of understanding God's original design. And then everything else is just a broader understanding of a different leg or arm of that, but it is not necessarily God's perfect heart and will. We look at uh, Paul in the, in the Bible Many people think he was single. Well, if you study original uh, ancient Jewish mm -hmm. culture, and even today, uh, they he would not have been allowed to become a Pharisee or be in a religious leadership if he had not been married. And so what was he really saying? Uh, first of all, his message in that, you know, where, that people often use about, you know, Paul was single and he encouraged singles. Well, that would go against God's original heart and mandate. The Jews never condoned singlehood as being good. Rather, it's quite the opposite. It was, uh, it was a big deal that they couldn't have children. Mm -hmm. And so to be married was the ultimate dream and goal for all Jews. And uh, so if Paul was single, then he was probably a widower. Okay? And uh, him being on the mission field, all, all that, you know, if, if that was the case, it would make his job easier. But it's not the ultimate necessarily. What he was really saying is, is telling men to not commit adultery and sleeping around with other men's, uh, men's wives to be single unto their wife mm -hmm. uh, while they're out and about. So with that being cleared up, why do you want to be single? Why do you think singlehood is better than being married? Well, it's probably because you might have had some traumatic experiences in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, you had some crash and burn relationship, maybe went through a divorce, went through a messy breakups. Maybe your parents or siblings uh, had a marriage relationship that just sucked. It, it was just... Uh, you don't want anything of it. You're just going to take the easy road. I'm just going to ditch it all. And uh, no just good example. me, myself, and I, I get along with my, or quite well with myself. I don't need other people to trigger my wounds. That's what you, that's what's really being said. Yeah. And so now here's how to tell if uh, if you're eligible or desire marriage. Deep down, deep, deep, deep down. Yeah, because we believe that deep down, every single person is desiring to be married. Is the fears and traumas that's keeping us from going forward because we don't want to have what other people have because it's not what we want, right? Or we don't even know what we want. And maybe a Disney sold you a beautiful story, but do you believe it? Or should I even dare to believe it because it's not out there? It's just a fairy tale. All of those things. And maybe you've really never, maybe a lot of people have never seen a good marriage. And so they think yeah. uh, it's just like cha chasing a rainbow, the pot of gold in a rainbow, or it's just a unicorn. It doesn't exist. Right. And, and so we're here to create a different story and demonstrate to you, walk, walk out what a good marriage looks like and to lead by example and hold nothing back. We're not we're, like, as you see us on camera, mm -hmm. is how we are in everyday life. Yeah. Uh, we, we process through our things quickly and efficiently on purpose and intentional. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing happens by accident. Marriage, a good marriage doesn't just happen. You, we, you get to create what you want. And uh, as you sow, you will reap. That's one plus one equals two. Mm -hmm. So, so good, good into your spouse. You'll reap good. Yeah. It's just simple math. Anyhow. So let's, let's look at, let me ask some, some questions. Do you have a sex drive? Do you struggle with lust? Do you have, you know, 
deal with masturbation. I'm not saying that whether that's right or wrong. Uh, the Bible is somewhat silent on that. As far as I know, as far as directly addressing it, it comes down to the heart, be heart behind it, your why. Do you it's have what, sexual desire? Yeah, yes, period. It's the why behind it. It has more to do with the actual thing itself. Mm -hmm. uh, do you struggle with porn? All of these things are evidence that you are getting your kicks and your fulfillment uh, on the cheap through an alternative method without the responsibility of, a, of you know, developing a connection with a spouse mm -hmm. and, and, and dealing mm -hmm. with the things in your heart that's blocking you from doing that, you know, having a deep connection and with confidence and good communication and, and commitment. Mm -hmm. And so the, all those deviations of fulfillment and your in connection on a heart level and mm -hmm. sexuality and all that, is really just a what it is is a scapegoat of escaping uh, from doing the deeper work within that requires, especially in us men, to address our egos and our pride and recognize that we're broken, uh, broken beings, and we need healing. We need help mm -hmm. from God. Yeah. And so as we as you deal with these things, which we describe in our triggers to triumph. And emotional healing messages, especially in our um, single to married school community, we go into this um, on a much deeper level. However, we have messages here and there on YouTube that you can tap into. Uh, maybe Irina will post, uh, watch this next video after this, mm -hmm. and we can talk, talk you know, where we explain more. But as you deal with these these things, these inner traumas, and you create new agreements and and embrace a, a higher truth, yeah. and recognize that you get to create your story. And you tap, you strengthen your sense of identity. You grow in your confidence, and your communication skills follows. Mm -hmm. And you'll feel safe to commit because you're confident. Why do you get confident? In something is because you've developed a skill that made you confident. Yeah, it's just again, it's one plus one equals two. If you get if you become skillful in your uh, in communication, it's because you uh, develop something. Mm -hmm. and you're confident there. Guess what? When all the the road all that is taken care of, the road is paved to where actually. A switch flips at some point in your heart that you want to be married. Yeah. And that's the process that we work on. We recognize singlehood, marriage, mm -hmm. we're the bridge to walk with you and link arms with you so that you don't have to do it alone. And we'll we'll lock arms with you and walk with you on the journey. And um, so that's what we do is we help people get from where they are to where they want to be. And if there's a process in between, then we patiently walk that out with you. And so if you want to know more, just hop into the our single to married school community, which will provide a link below this video. Mm -hmm. Any final thoughts, love? You know, I just wanted to tell you that I was afraid to be married to a wrong person. And that kept me single until my 40s. And now that we were able to break, well, I was able to break through that agreement and know that I can create what I want. The marriage that we have is beautiful and we grow every single day. We learn new skills and tools to make it even better, you know, and making it, making something together is so much more fun than doing it by yourself. Okay, and we talk about more of that in other videos. So check them out and see, you know, what what we share on that. But marriage is beautiful. And if you have that deep desire, just know it is possible. And the bridge from there where you are to where we are or where you want to be is actually is there. And we provide it for you. So come on in. We welcome you to come join us. And we would be happy to be the people that made a difference in your life. That's right. And we were single into our 40s. And uh, we had very fulfilling single lives. Mm -hmm. uh, we led, uh, we did everything that our heart desired that was fulfilling to us at that time. Mm -hmm. And it still doesn't compare to marriage now. No, There's not. no comparison. Yeah. And we had great single lives. Yeah. I mean, I did. And guess what? Not all the good ones are taken yet. No, we found each other. Yeah. And we've helped others find each other too. So they're out there. You just got to know which pond to fish in and where to look. That's right. Yeah. All right. We'll see you next time. You blessed.